What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA SAG. And on today's uh, video guys, uh, I will show you the latest update from NextBridge Hydrocarbons. They just published uh, a new document, uh, official uh, PR statement. And I will explain you uh, what does it mean in details. On top of that, uh, I will show you some uh, updates uh, from one of our community members in regards of uh, his efforts and uh, his uh, work uh, that he's done. And I will show you his expectations uh, of the roadmap of potential settlement. And uh, at the end of this video, I will share my personal story. That is why, guys, uh, watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It is the easiest way how we can uh, push this uh, video forward to the broader audience. And the more people know about our case, the more chances we have uh, to uh, win this battle. So, let's start with this news. Uh, uh, Timeless team, in response to the tweet that was written by Crucial Mix on April 15th, uh, made uh, this tweet, and let me first of all uh, uh, quote uh, this tweet. Get a recap of George Palikar's comments about MMTLP and who holds the power. Support Andrei Nefedev and his efforts to help MMTLP shareholders. And uh, Timeless Team made this uh, tweet with uh, uh, AI, and he wrote, Thank you, Andrei Nefedev, for all your daily support, uh, time and effort uh, to the MMTLP army. I have the capability to turn on closed captions on your YouTube videos, and that helps. You are doing uh, great for us, for all. And guys, uh, these type of tweets uh, uh, are really important for me, because uh, these uh, tweets show me your support, and I'm so grateful that I'm part of MMTLP community, despite I'm not an MMTLP shareholder. That is why, guys, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So. And let's start with the news, uh, the real news uh, in regards to our case. Uh, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons, uh, just several hours, hours ago, uh, made uh, this uh, update on their website. They published the Next Bridge Activity Update. And let me show you this document in details. I have to say that this document uh, has uh, two parts, um, and let me start one by one. First of all, let me go to this. We have recently closed a participation agreement with an undisclosed international buyer to purchase our option to buy 13.33% of the previously announced Valentine prospect located in La Lafourth Parish, Louisiana, for an upfront payment of $47,000, with an additional $620,000 payment when certain conditional metrics are met going forward, anticipated mid-summer 2024. The company is also pleased to state that we will retain 2.6664% of 8 over the 8th working interest after payout on each well drilled on the acreage. This interest is effectively free of the burden of upfront drilling and completion costs and reflects a significant potential long-term value for next bridge shareholders. Additionally, Nagant's Bridge will retain 40% of all uh, of uh, the deep rights uh, below 19,500, uh, which incorporates uh, the uh, Wilcox and uh, Tuscaloosa formations, both highly productive hydrocarbon zones uh, in this region of Louisiana. So, guys, this is pretty much the end of part one. Let me uh, quote you uh, what did uh, Greg McCabe say. And he said, as a part of our ongoing commitment to re-envisioning our business model, we continue to pursue development and sale opportunities that diversify our economic operations. This participation agreement is just the latest triumph in the implementation of this mission. We are truly excited about this uh, transaction and we look forward to updating our shareholders with much more in the weeks and months to come. So, guys. This statement, the first part of this statement, says that uh, uh, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons uh, is uh, working uh, on the development of uh, their assets. And definitely, it is a very good sign, but in general, from the fundamental standpoint, it doesn't mean a lot for shareholders. Uh, so, upfront payment is just $47,000, with a total payment of $620,000. 
it is close to nothing if uh, you remember the uh, most recent ridiculous uh, uh, class action lawsuit uh, and the settlement that was made uh, that will pay uh, 1.5 cents uh, per each uh, share, each common share. This means uh, uh, $47,000 uh, is not even one of 10,000 uh, of uh, the dollar of potential dividends. On top of that, guys, uh, no one said that this money will be sent to the dividends uh, to shareholders. Most likely, this money will be spent to their general and administrative expenses. And we don't know it right now because they still uh, didn't uh, publish their earnings report. And let me show you the second part of uh, this uh, uh, letter. And it is the most important one. As previously disclosed, NextBridge appointed a new independent registered public accounting firm on February the 10th, 2024. Because of the recency of this appointment, NextBridge has not had sufficient time to complete its Form 10K for the year ended December 31st, 2023. Despite the efforts of management and auditor, NextBridge will be unable to timely file the Form 10K by the extended due date of April 16, 2024. All such parties are continuing to work diligently on finalizing the Form 10K and next which intends to file the Form 10K as soon as possible. And this is, guys, uh, the main uh, reason why Next Bridge Hydrocarbons published uh, this uh, letter. Let me remind you that uh, on April the 1st, on the deadline when they had to disclose their 10K form, they also made another statement uh, and uh, it, has, uh, it also had uh, two parts in it. Uh, one part is the uh, acquisition and the sale of immediate sale of uh, uh, one of the prospects. And I covered it in one of my previous videos. It is debatable uh, action, especially if you uh, take a look uh, on the previous owner of uh, this uh, prospect. And previous owner is the company that is directly related to John Burda. And that is why a lot of questions uh, were asked, but uh, we don't have any answers. And the second uh, letter, basically yesterday's letter, was published on April 16th, exactly at the uh, ending uh, period of their extended uh, time to publish their 10K report. And uh, they also added uh, some uh, minor information in regards to this sell-off, uh, but the main information is right here. And guys, for now, it is extremely important to know the financial status of NextBridge Hydrocarbons because it uh, reflects uh, all the activity of this company for the last year and it is pretty much uh, showing us and might show us uh, the intrinsic value of NextBridge Hydrocarbon shares. That is the base of uh, the share price. Uh, let me remind you that uh, the second part of the share price will be definitely uh, the uh, amount of settlement that uh, might take place uh, in upcoming uh, months. And uh, I showed you these three bullet points, uh, three uh, options uh, how the next bridge hydrocarbons uh, issue might be solved. The first one is two additional days of trading. And uh, I explained you in uh, one of my videos uh, why it uh, is the least probable outcome. Second one is the settlement in order to cover all the short position and uh, the money that potentially might uh, be received uh, uh, by next bridge hydrocarbons uh, will uh, potentially will be distributed uh, through the next bridge hydrocarbon shareholders with an additional dividends. And the rest of the price of uh, the next bridge hydrocarbon shares will be available only uh, during the merger and acquisition process. And we don't know when and if it happens uh, in foreseeable future. So let's switch to the next news. Yesterday I showed you the questions that was asked by Glass Guy, and for now he added just uh, several additional uh, statements and. Uh, <laughs> These statements, in my opinion, are very important uh, and let me quote you them one by one. Uh, another broken rule. Rule 17A-11. Where is the short interest reported for next breach? We know trade station is over their allotment. Why hasn't it been reported? Yes, uh, another rule that uh, potentially is broken and uh, no one, no one except the uh, MMTLP community pays uh, uh, their attention to this uh, issue. Next statement, let me go to this. Here's another fun rule, rule 5210. 
if our silent shares beyond the allotted amount is found to be manipulative or fraudulent, it would fall under the purview of Rule 5210 and trigger FINRA's investigative processes. So, guys, uh, we know that uh, at least uh, a trade station admitted uh, that they have uh, more shares in short positions uh, than uh, the uh, number of shares uh, allotted to them. And uh, why in the world, uh, because of this uh, fact alone, FINRA didn't initiate uh, the investigative process? It doesn't make sense, in my opinion. Next statement. One of the people on the other side said, the shares now have value $1 for every 325 shares. I guess they can start paying interest to trade station customers. Huh. What's uh, the interest on something you can't deliver? And uh, guys, let me remind you that uh, according to SEC rules, uh, if someone has a short position on certain asset and the management of uh, this company distribute uh, some dividends, all these dividends should be paid uh, by the short sellers to the owner of these shares. And guys, if the number of uh, counterfeit shares is much higher than 250,000 shares uh, that uh, we potentially have on NetBridge Hydrocarbons as shares outstanding. How in the world uh, all of uh, these uh, naked shorters will pay the dividend uh, if uh, NetBridge Hydrocarbons announce uh, this uh, news? Definitely, it is a huge question that should be discovered and uh, for now we don't know how it might happen. So, let me show you another quite interesting news. Uh, here is the set of tweets that, that were written by Cromwell Carlson, and if you don't know who this person is, uh, he is the CEO of OTC Markets Group. And let me show you that uh, on February the 6th, 2023, he published uh, this tweet, uh, and I want to cover only one of uh, the set of tweets, and he wrote, The ongoing question is, how do short position holders resolve their liability for next bridge common stock? if uh, it is not easy, transferable or tradable publicly. I have no control or input on that. It would be easier if Nelsbridge shares became publicly tradable. And uh, definitely for now we know that it is near to impossible uh, to make uh, these uh, shares tradable. But the question is how the short position will be closed on the Nelsbridge hydrocarbon shares. Uh, even uh, Cromwell Carlson doesn't know the procedure how it might happen. And guys, right after he published uh, this uh, tweet, uh, he didn't mention pretty much anything on top of this information in regards to Nextbridge and uh, MMTLP saga. And it is quite confusing and it is quite suspicious uh, that uh, first of all he was pretty much on uh, the MMTLP community members site. But uh, for now he is, uh, let's put it this way, he is pretty much neutral on this case and uh, he keeps silence. So, also another quite uh, gray area. And uh, for now, let me show you another tweet uh, that was uh, published by Due Diligence. And I have to say that it is quite interesting and important tweet that potentially reveals uh, the timeline of the settlement. Let me quote you this in details. Good lord, I can't even speculate anymore. So, let's clear this up. What I said was that I believe that uh, the writing is on the walls as uh, to how NBH intends to resolve this situation. And I said that I believe that within 90 days uh, we will see the roadmap formally laid out. And yes, I believe this will be resolved via market in some form or fashion. While I'm not going to go too deep into speculation, my hope is that once NBH updates its financials, we will see the S1 approved and then the roadmap laid out. Why do, I why do I think this? Because NBH was super diligent about uh, amending their S1s uh, and since the last one we haven't seen another update. So what else uh, would uh, we be waiting on? The financials being updated is all that comes to mind. Aside from that, and as I have stated uh, on the record spaces, between what FINRA has publicly said and what NBH has uh, stated in PRs, to me, the path to resolution becomes clear. I will not spell it out uh, in detail because I am not going to tip our hand out of uh, abundance uh, of caution in the event that uh, what I think will be the series of events to come to indeed come to fruition. 
Uh, this is all what I believe, not uh, what I am told. I don't speak to anyone at NBH and I'm not uh, privy to anything that uh, no one else knows. I just interpret what I'm seeing differently than others, I guess. I'll say it there, I don't know how big uh, the imbalance is. I'm not saying we are go all going to be filthy rich. I'm not saying it's gonna go up uh, to X dollars per share. Hell, I'm not even saying I'm right. But the gist uh, of uh, it is uh, my interpretation of the situation leads me to be optimistic that we are going to have a favorable end uh, to this soon, one way or another. Very optimistic. But keep calling Congress every single day. So, he's quite optimistic uh, as well as I am. And I have to say that uh, he made this deadline of 90 days uh, when we will see during which we have to see the roadmap uh, uh, for the resolution. And guys, to make it closer, please uh, contact your congressman's office uh, and ask your representative to contact James Commerce office to express support for an MMTLP congressional hearing. This is the important, the most important call to action that we have on the table right now. And definitely this action alone might bring us uh, a resolution through congressional efforts. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MHLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you